Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and I got another pickup video uh, this week. I have a lot of stuff uh, laying here in front of me. This was actually a pretty decent uh, haul week between uh, some stores, and uh, a lot of stuff came in the mail. It's a nice mix of uh, various collectibles that I'm all into, so I'm just going to you know, hop right into it. Uh, don't forget to uh, comment, uh, like the uh, video uh, be sure to subscribe if you're not I definitely appreciate it uh, I love the engagement um, one of the things which I've really enjoyed about doing this is um, is meeting in different uh, collectors and you know it's, it's just starting up a conversation and there's a couple guys now um, since I've started back the channel that I've really engaged with, you know, we, uh, we chat on Instagram all the time. Um, it's really a lot of fun. That's what I really love getting out of this. Uh, so, you know, be sure to uh, engage. I, I, I love talking about this, this stuff. Um, you know, follow me on Instagram on Instagram. Um, I don't go by uh, Mr. Fantastic. I just use my first name. Uh, it's, uh, Oleg's O L E G. Um, then S collecting. So Oleg's collecting. That's it. Um, yeah, just follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of posts uh, there. Um, I should probably coordinate the names, but yeah, I started in these things at different times and I just kind of kept it as is. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but uh, anyways, um, so I'm just going to jump right into this right now uh, with as far as what I got. And I'm going to start with uh, the f uh, video game that I picked up this week. And uh, the video game I got is uh, Resident Evil 8 uh, Village. I briefly started this last night, and so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's a little different than uh, the other Resident Evil games, at least so far, uh, because it really doesn't seem to be uh, zombies. It's more um, uh, werewolves, so that's a little different. And... Uh, you're like in this mysterious town in Europe. Um, it's the same um, protagonist as in uh, Resident Evil 7. It's a continuation of his story. Uh, but uh, so far, uh, so good. I'm definitely enjoying it. I haven't uh, gotten too far in it, but uh, so far I definitely am, am liking it. Next is a bunch of movies uh, that I got off uh, Amazon and Shout Factory. A few of these I got from Shout Factory and a few of these I got from uh, Amazon. Um, as I mentioned in my last pickup, I've been watching this documentary in search of uh, Darkness 2. And it's given me a lot of ideas as far as uh, movies to pick up. So... Hence, I uh, went on uh, those two websites and picked up a bunch of movies. Now, this one, this one I didn't get because of the documentary, but this one I got because of um, just being on the Shot Factory uh, website. It was on there, and I always kind of you know, like this movie. It's not the greatest vampire movie by any stretch of the imagination. It's, it's a John Carpenter uh, movie, a little that was later in his career. I believe it came out in like 1998. Um, it's, uh, John Carpenter's, uh, Vampires. It was okay from what I can remember. And the rest of these are, uh, movies that I got, uh, just based on ideas, uh, from, uh, the, the documentary In Search of Darkness. So the first one is, uh, April Fool's Day. Terror in the Isles. This one I actually showed uh, last week. Uh, this was the first one to come in, but um, it's part of all these, so I'll just show it again. Uh, Humanoids from the Deep. Graduation Day. Terror Train. And Fun House. And most of them, yeah, I haven't even opened them yet. Um, I tend to not open them until I actually watch them, so I, why bother uh, opening them until you watch them? And, uh, you know, if you never do, you kind of um, remind yourself, like, oh, that's something that uh, I got to get to. So it's a reminder to uh, watch something if uh, if it's still in its uh, cellophane. All right, next is a couple of uh, figures I actually found at, uh, where did I find these? Walmart, <laughs> amazingly enough. Uh, it's the uh, Mandalorian Retro Collection. I only found a couple of them. The rest of them I have uh, pre-ordered, but uh, these were on the shelves uh, 
strangely enough, this morning. It's uh, Moff Gideon and IG-11. The rest of them, like I said, I have uh, pre-ordered. And um, I believe I had the... Eh, I only had, strangely, the Moff Gideon pre-ordered from these two. So I canceled the uh, that pre-order. Uh, next is a stack of uh, Black Series figures, which uh, have finally come in from uh, Entertainment Earth. Man, have I been looking forward to these. Uh, so... First one is uh, Bo-Katan, really nice figure. This might be one of the best looking Black Series figures ever made. It's just spectacular looking. It's It's got soft, yeah, soft uh, uh, goods. It just looks incredible. Um, yeah, this might be one of my favorite Black Series figures ever made. <laughs> it's uh, the Asajj Ventress. Yeah, she, it's just a great looking figure. It, it took forever for that uh, character to get a Black Series figure. Um, really, she should have had a figure a long time ago, but so be it. Uh, next are the uh, Bad Batch figures. Uh, Hunter. Crosshair. And the Elite Squad Trooper. I think there's one more that's supposed to be coming out later uh, this year. Uh, the next uh, few are uh, McFarlane uh, DC figures. I don't pick up all of these by any means, but um, there's some that I just think are really cool looking and, you know, I can't help but pick up. Um, so, I, yeah, I pick up some here and there. Uh, the first one is uh, Batman Hellbat Gold Edition. It's just a sweet looking figure. And it's got some earth to it it's a pretty hefty figure it's uh you know, it's relatively heavy and he's he's a big dude so happy to get that next one i was just super happy to get uh i love this cartoon um just really happy that they came out with an, an amazing uh you know replica of this uh character in uh this figure form and that's uh batman beyond terry mcginnis just awesome looking. And um, uh, this one is uh, Bizarro. Bizarro is always kind of a neat character. And then is the uh, two pack of uh, Superman and Batman Earth One, which is actually Doomsday. Also, really awesome looking. I've had this for a few weeks, actually, but I, I I just kept forgetting to show it. And if I did show it, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure I have it. Um, yeah, this is just a great-looking figure, or a two-pack. Um, it's in, like, an alternate universe where Batman becomes Doomsday, essentially. But I'm actually kind of tempted to open this one, only because it looks so awesome and... The way Doomsday hand is grasped, like you can like kind of grab uh, Superman by the throat and uh, lift the other arm with the uh, spike, it it would probably like just look incredible. We'll see. Maybe I'll pick up a second one and do that. And the last thing which I got, um, this came from Ringside Collectibles. Um, they're releasing um, the first series of AEW figures. Uh, the first series of AEW figures were exclusive to Walmart, and they were impossible to find. Uh, they came out, I want to say, uh, fall of last year, and they were just... I I never saw a single one on the shelves. And if Ringside Collectible is basically re-releasing them um, with... A, it's called Series 1 Version 2. Um, they're basically a little bit improved if, of the from the original ones that came out, and I'm not sure if these are going to be rarer or more plentiful. I'm really, I really don't know what the numbers are on these, but um, it, this is not a series that I'm going to go crazy with by any means. I only have a few. I basically just getting the figures that I like, like with anything. I never get in, very rarely do I get like an entire run of anything. I just kind of get uh, what I like. And this one is one of my favorite wrestlers. I've always really liked him. He was one of my uh, favorite wrestlers during the um, Attitude Era in uh, WWE. And 
he stayed with WWE for a number of years, basically on and off. And now he's one of the main attractions for uh, AEW. And that's uh, Chris Jericho. It's a really cool looking figure. So uh, I believe that is it. I already showed the um, Astro City Mini, which I uh, picked, got in the mail this week. Um, definitely enjoying that. Check out that review if you haven't already. Uh, that's a really neat little machine. Um, I've been playing it a lot, actually, over the course of the last few days. I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. And playing it on the big screen, definitely awesome. Also, one thing about it, which uh, I didn't mention in my review because I just hadn't even gotten that far to even try, was um, you have the little unit, and you can plug it into the TV. And you also have a controller, which you plug into the unit when playing the TV. You don't need the controller in order to play it on the TV if you don't have one. Uh, you can actually use the little unit uh, as a controller scheme to uh, play it on the TV. So um, you don't need to get that second controller if you don't want to. But it helps, I think, because it just it, it feels better than um, the controller or the joystick uh, arcade controller on the unit itself. But if you don't get that uh, uh, standalone controller, uh, you can still play it on the TV. So that's my addendum to uh, that review. So that's it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of uh, the pickups this week. What have you guys been finding? Um, I'm just happy I was able to find some Star Wars stuff. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. Um, the, these are uh, retro collection figures. I'm super excited about I can't wait to get the rest of them, especially um, the Mandalorian himself and uh, the child. So that's going to be pretty cool. All right, so till next time, guys, take care. Bye.